Aesop's Fables. Fables are short stories which illustrate a particular moral and teach a lesson to children and kids. This term, we've been reading The Hare and the Tortoise, The City Mouse and the Country Mouse, and The Lion and the Mouse. We hope you like these fables. Enjoy them and have fun. The Hare and the Tortoise once there was a hare who liked to brag. He liked to brag about how fast he was. Each day he told the other animals, I am so fast, I can run like the wind. Who will race with me? The other animals did not answer. They did not like the hare's bragging. But no one wanted to race with him. One day the hare said, no one is faster than I am. Come on, who will race with me? The tortoise was tired of hearing the hare brag, so he said, I will race you. The hare laughed. You must be joking, he said. You are so slow, and I am so fast. You will never beat me. The tortoise said, I may be slow, but I always get where I'm going. We'll see about that, said the hare. The next day, the hare and the tortoise were ready to race. All the animals came to watch. The goose waved a flag and shouted, Go! The hare hopped away as fast as he could. Soon he was out of sight. The tortoise didn't think about how far ahead the hare was. He just inched along step by step. The hare ran and ran. After a short time, he got tired. The tortoise will never catch up with me, he thought. I'll just stop and take a little rest. Soon, the hare was fast asleep. The tortoise was still walking. He walked slowly, but he never stopped. As the tortoise walked, he passed the hare, but the hare did not see the tortoise. The hare was still sleeping. Suddenly, the other animals began to cheer. The noise woke the hare. He jumped and ran as fast as he could, but it was too late. The tortoise had won the race. The tortoise was happy. The other animals were happy too, and the hare had learned an important lesson. Slow and steady wins the race. The city mouse and the country mouse. One day, a city mouse went to visit her cousin, who lived in the country. I love it here, said the city mouse. I love the fresh country air. I'm hungry after that long ride, said the city mouse. Do you have anything to eat? Follow me, said the country mouse, and she led her cousin to the garden. The country mouse picked some ripe tomatoes. She picked corn, lettuce and carrots too. She shared the food with the city mouse. Here you are, cousin, some nice fresh country vegetables. The city mouse looked at the vegetables. What kind of food is this? she asked. This is what mice eat in the country, said the country mouse. It's good for you. Come with me, said the city mouse. I'll show you what mice eat in the city. So the city mouse took her cousin to the city. Soon they were in front of a big fancy house. The city mouse took the country mouse inside. They saw a big table. It was filled with all kinds of foods. There were cookies and cakes. There were pies and cheese and crackers. The two mice ate happily. They ate and ate and ate until in came two huge dogs. The dogs jumped up on the table. They were not after the cookies and cakes. They were not after the pies and cheese and crackers. They were after the two mice. The two mice ran into a little hole in the wall. The city mouse said, wait a little while, the dogs will go, then we can eat again. But the country mouse said, 
No, Dad, you can have your pies and cakes. I'm going home to eat my vegetables in peace. It is better to eat a simple meal in peace than to have a feast in fear. The lion and the mouse. One hot day, a lion fell asleep under a tree. A little mouse came running along. She scampered over the lion. The lion woke up. He grabbed the mouse in his paw. The lion growled. You woke me up. Now I'm going to eat you. Oh no, I'm sorry I woke you, squeaked the mouse. Please, don't eat me. But the lion was not listening. He held the mouse over his mouth. Please, stop, the mouse cried. Do not eat me. I will help you one day. The lion roared with laughter when he heard that. He was the king of the jungle, after all. How could a tiny mouse help him? But the lion said, very well, and he let the mouse go. The mouse ran away and the lion went back to sleep. He forgot all about the mouse. Not long after, some hunters caught the lion in a huge net. The lion roared. He tore at the net. Nothing helped. The lion was trapped. The hunters saw what a fine lion they had caught. They went to find a wagon to carry him away. Just then, the mouse came out of hiding. She began to chew on the net. She chewed and chewed. Soon, she made a small hole in the net. Then, she made the hole bigger and bigger. All at once, the lion was free. Thank you, said the lion to the mouse. You saved my life. I told you I will help you one day, said the mouse. And from then on, the lion and the mouse became good friends. Sometimes it's more